Right, first we should answer, why do we need a resistor? So, two reasons why we need the resistor. One, it lowers the voltage to the required voltage for the LED, and it limits the current below the pin rating. So the UNO can have a maximum of 20 milliamps on each IO pin. When sizing a resistor, we need to consider its ohm rating and its watt rating. To find out those, we need to know the forward voltage from the spec sheet of the LED. Now that would typically be 1.85 volts to a maximum of 2.5 volts. VF. So VF equals forward voltage. So with the resistor, we need to know the wattage required and the ohms required. One of the standard wattages of a resistor is quarter watt. So 0 0.25 watts. Now the formula for finding out what, uh, what resistance you need is this. So I'll just write there. Vs is supply voltage so the formula goes like this resistance equals Vs minus Vf over the current now we know the current maximum is 20 milliamps so let's give it some headroom and let's make it 0.15 milliamps 0.15 amps or 15 milliamps so let's let's fill in the numbers so an UNO pin outputs 5 volts so then we want 1.5 volts of the typical voltage okay I'm going to divide that by the current that we want And that will give us the current. And that, that will give us the ohms. So if I will turn that around so you can see it. You've got 5 minus 1.85 over 0 0.015 equals... 210 ohms. Right, so now we know the ohm rating. So we want to know if we'll be right with a quarter watt resistor. So there's different formulas you can work out, but one of the easy ones is uh, uh, P equals I squared R. Now we know the current that we want is 0 0.015 amps, so 15 milliamps squared multiplied by uh, 210 ohms equals so we'll clear that, we'll type that in we'll the square button multiplied by 210 0 0.047 watts, so 47 milliwatts. So we know we've got plenty of space there because that's 250 milliwatts and we've got 47 milliwatts. So you know we've got a lot of headspace there so we don't have to worry about that. So now we know that we're good for that. That would work fine. Resistor with that value or around that value. You can try different ones. If you actually wanted to work out the voltage drop across that resistor, if you needed to worry about that, you could just simply do the voltage drop equals I T 
times R. So the current, we know what the current is, because a current in a series circuit is equal across all components. So it's 0 0.015 multiplied by the 210 equals 3.15 volts. So the voltage drop across the resistor is 3.15 volts. But we could also actually just take that one and minus that, and it will also give us the same answer. Alright, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you found this interesting or easy.